Hey everyone, good evening. Um, you know, this is Nidika Behel and welcome to the FB Live. I'm sure you're wondering why we're not having the live at the usual time of 5 p.m. So I just wanted to tell all our followers that we're going to shift it to 7 p.m. Uh, starting this Tuesday based on your feedback that, you know, it'll be easier for you guys to log in if the live was at 7 instead of 5 p.m. Because usually 5 p.m. is in the middle of the day for most people and they're not able to connect with us. And anyways, most of them, um, you know, uh, see the live later in the day. So why not have it at that time? So the you know um so i'm sure you've heard of is uh, what is it that um is the um uh, to have everybody else who's here so um i'm sure you're wondering you know what is the formula of manifestation and i'm sure you've heard this that your thoughts lead to feelings lead to action lead to results what that means is that if your results are not what you like in life if they're not uh, what you imagine for yourself in your life if you would like things a little different in your life then obviously what you need to begin by changing is your thoughts because that is the root which is creating the fruit which is your results right so your thoughts are the bottom line hi aniket good to have you um bottom line of what really creates um, you know the results in your life right so the question is um if we are not like not in sync with the kind of results i want to create for myself so maybe um you know in my life uh i want to create let's say a, a million dollars okay but i'm struggling to meet ends or maybe i'm doing well maybe i'm making uh, uh you know maybe a 10 percent of that but not to what i want to create so obviously there is a gap between what i'm thinking and what i want to create unless and until i can align wherever you are as far as your mindset is concerned creates your reality it creates the kind of people you meet the kind of people uh, you know that bump into you um the kind of experiences you have the kind of emotions you deal with they're all at a certain vibration and they manifest a certain kind of a reality whereas if you want to change your reality and change the things you've manifested you got to work on your mindset now the question comes which part of the mindset you want to work on so let's look at it look at an example let's say um, you know i would uh, would you agree that every single person wants to be successful say yes if you agree you know um, awesome so i'm sure you know what i'm talking about when i say that every single person wants to be successful but the question is new skills acquiring new and you know more skills uh, on an which means it's going to double your chances of success and when the compounding effect of acquiring new skills is so good that it can enhance and exponentially increase your chances of success why is it that people don't work or don't try to get more skills or acquire new skills beyond their school and college most people stop educating themselves stop personal growth you know act with the college degree itself because they're frustrated and they're like you know uh, limitations that they create for themselves some people say i'm too old for this some say i'm too young for this some say you know i'll do it after because if it was in your priority scale, you would do anything and everything possible to actually acquire those skills, right? The third thing is a lot of people believe that I am born in a certain way. So there's a beautiful book written by this lady called um, Carol Dweck. And she, the book is called Mindset. And she talks that people come from primarily two mindsets. People believe either I have a fixed mindset or I have a growth mindset. Now, what does that mean? People who come from a fixed mindset believe that they are born in a certain way and there is only so much or a small bandwidth within which that they can play around or change their skills or change, you know, um, um, or, or they can even acquire skills within that bandwidth, you know, so I'm born in a certain way, you know, I'm not born in tell, but I'm willing to learn, right? So there's a typical mindset difference here is fixed versus growth. So if you come from a growth mindset, chances are you're going to be very open to learning new things, acquiring new skills, acquiring new traits, changing behavioral patterns, and you know, or put yourself on road to success. The second big mindset which comes in the way of uh, building uh, you know, uh, massive results for yourself or huge success for yourself is how do you view a setback or a failure in your life? Do you treat, um, you know, do you treat a failure as like the end point for yourself or do you treat failure as a learning experience? Do you treat an event in life which has, you know, completely shattered you 
as the end of your life or do you treat that event and say what can i do and what can i create out of this experience right so every time we are dealt with a failure and i think you know one book i want to recommend here is a book by john maxwell the book is called failing forward and it's a life changing book because it's going to teach you how do you want to view the fail failure aspect in your life you know can you learn something from it and one of the um, things that you know uh, i always tell my um, clients is that every time something doesn't go as per what you thought it was can you at least use that opportunity to rock to launch rockets of uh, desires as to what is it that you want to create and how far are you from reality and what can you learn from this experience that's not true. so always processing information that's uh, that's there you know uh, around you so um, two again huge mindset shifts one around skills development and second around uh, you know dealing with failure and i would like to point out one more thing here you know a lot of people um, enthusiasm for example is common and uh, angela duckworth writes about this in her book uh, called grit and she says you know that enthusiasm is very common but endurance is rare and to be successful in life or to create what you want to create for yourself in your life you need to endure and you need to endure good days you need to endure bad days as well you need to endure times when you're doing really well for yourself and you also want to endure times when you're not doing so well or not going as per plan and use that opportunity to launch a rocket of desire and say you know this is not what i want this something else is what i want to create for myself right so that is very very important uh of course there's tons to be uh, you know to unlearn and relearn when it comes to mindsets you know there are mindsets around money i think money wealth and abundance are the most misunderstood words in in today's times um and very interestingly you know there's a there's there's a concept we learn called the misunderstood word theory which says that if there is a word you have misunderstood chances are all your ideas around that word are going to be uh you know are going to be wrong which means the life you're going to create because of those ideas will also not be in sync with uh, you know uh, a perfect life or what is it that you would have ideally liked to create so it's very important to change your mindset around uh, money wealth and abundance very important to change your mindset around your own self worth uh, you know how you view yourself your you know your whole quotient of deservability your whole mindset around dealing with emotions do you get scared with them or do you you know are you able to process them so that's again another big issue uh, which needs to be looked at your mindset around relationships how do you view relationships your mindset around leadership skills because that is the only thing that's going to take you ahead in your career and take you ahead in your um, you know in your business your mindset around team building mindset around um, you know value systems there is so much to change and what i want you to do is you know visualize that imagine there was a glass with with ink water in it now how would you remove the ink from this water so imagine a glass with ink water and i want you to metaphorically look at it it's like your brain with certain thoughts some practice thoughts which we call habits which are not working for you but they're in your brain like the ink in the water and how do you separate the ink from the water does anybody know the answer to that the only way you can se separate the ink from the water of course one you can say i can throw it but unfortunately you can't do to your subconscious mind and throw it away and say i'll get a new one you can't do that but what you can do is if you keep putting more water into this glass with ink water with time slowly and slowly it's going to dilute and you're going to have clear water likewise in your subconscious mind there are beliefs that work for you there are beliefs there are thought patterns there are mindsets which do not work for you all you have to do is keep planting the new mindsets keep planting the new mindsets and slowly and steadily your subconscious mind will get rid of the ones which are not working for you and you'll have a crystal a clear glass of water or a crystal clear subconscious mind which is directed towards a bright future in every aspect of your life and that is what we call being in the zone right so to get yourself in the zone very slow process it's not an event it's not one thing that's going to do it it's going to be a series of events over a period of time that's going to compound and create that result for you right so how could you do it very simply there are many ways to do it you could you know read um, you could um, listen to some uh, positive audio material around the skills around the mindset shifts you want to develop you could uh, you know listen to some videos like the one you're watching right now uh, to make those kind of shifts 
the third thing you could do is um, you know attend some seminars and workshops which can do that shift for you and if you want to i mean you know this sunday if you're in bombay we have a free preview 3 pm to 5 30 pm at mayor's hall juhu on my page you'll see enough links to register for that that's where you learn how you shift your mindset around money wealth and abundance because i think a lot of people have this issue where they don't know why is it that despite working so hard they're not able to create the kind of wealth they want to create or create the kind of money that they want to have so it starts with again you know your thoughts lead to your feelings lead to your actions lead to your results or something and uh, uh, unless something changes in your thought patterns it's not going to change your result right so uh, that's what i wanted to say today um you know share with you some briefly why and how and uh, you know what you could do to shift your mindset why is it important and how to do it so if any of you have any questions around this topic i'll be happy to answer them at this time uh, because i'm pretty much done and i'd like to re-mention for those of you who are watching this video later that we've shifted our time from 5 pm to 7 pm so that we can get more people uh, with us at this time asking us questions because usually 5 pm is in the middle of the day for most people and they're not able to log in as i can see right now we have enough and more people logged in which is exciting for me because i know that we made a good choice by shifting to 7 pm so if any of you have any questions please feel free to ask, ask right now if any of you uh, have questions while you're watching this video later at your free time please feel free to write in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer those for you Right, so if nothing else, uh, I want to say have a great evening ahead and I look forward to connecting with you next Tuesday, 7 p.m. And a big thank you to all of you who logged in and watched this video live. Thank you guys. Love you.